शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाम आध्याम जगत व्यापिनी वीणा पुस्तक धारिणी मभयदान जाध्यादिकारापहां हस्ते स्पाटिक मालिकां विदधतीं पद्मासने समुस्तितां वंदे ताम परमेश्वरीं भगवतीं बुद्धि प्रदाम शारदाम नत्वा सरस्वतीं देवीं शुद्धां गुण्यां करोम्यहं पाणिनी अप्रवेशाय चगुसिध्धां चकौमुदीं Okay, so uh, we just finished the Halanta Pullinga, uh, <coughs> sorry Ajanta Pullinga. Any questions with Ajanta Pullinga? Uh, Australinga or Napunsakalinga, any of this? I hope people had time to revise this <coughs> because now all the sutras which are covered till here will be assumed by Laghukara to be covered completely even if he covered only a part it will be assumed to be covered completely and whenever he needs a sutra in the halanta pullinga prakrana strilinga or napunsaka linga prakrana which will follow in sequence he will assume those sutras are complete and he will use them without even mentioning that it has been used so atha halanta pullinga ha atha halanta pullinga ha this is where the Sorry, Halanta Pullinga Prakrana starts. The first sutra introduced for the word Lih here. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Sorry, I'm back. So, uh, using the <coughs> lihadhatu, lihadhatu, uh, liha aswadane, and quip is added to that to make a karta out of that, kartari krit. So, using this example as a halanta, kivanta, halanta, and a pullinga. So, what is the meaning of that lih? Lihadhatu, when you add quip, what will you get? You will get a padam. Uh, you will get a, uh, not a padam, sorry, pratipadikam, krittadita samasascha. In what sense? In the sense of karta. Karta of the kriya indicated by the dhatu, which is aswadanam, meaning to lick. And using that as an example, he introduces sutra, hodhaha, hodhaha, haha, dhaha. That's all the padashida is here. Dha is the Adesha, Dha Dhakara and Akara in this Dha Shabda, the Dha Padam, Akara is Ucharanartha and Hakara here, you see Hakara is Halanta, like Marut. Shashti Ekochan will get Marutaha, so Shashti Ekochan of Hakara will be Hahaha, so Haha Dha Adesha Bhavati, but this Akara is Ucharanartha. Let's look at the Sutra in Ashtadhyayi 8 to 31. So this is in Tripadi and it is in the Sandhi Prakrana, Hal Sandhi Prakrana. We have seen the Hal Sandhi Prakrana some sutras when Lagukara covered it in the Hal Sandhi. So 8 to 31 says what? 8 to 31 says Hodaha. Where did this highlighter go? Yeah. So, Hodha is our sutra. What is the Anurutti? Definitely Padasya Antasya, Padanta Santi. This is Padanta Santa. Uh, this Antecha. You see Antecha. Antecha goes till 38. So, you have Antecha here. So, let's add that. Antecha. Ante Saptami Ekochana. 
वॉट एल्स डू हैव एज अन झली सो झली पदांते झली पदांते सो झलो झली फ्रॉम झलो झली यू गेट झली ऑल्सो सो झली पदांते च झली सप्तमी को इन झल लेटर फॉलोज एंड पदांते एंड वी आर ऑलरेडी इन दी पद पद सेक्शन पदस्य वी आर ऑलरेडी इन पदस्य लॉन्ग बैक देर विल बी पदस्य अनुवृत्ति because we have seen these uh, sutras over here we have seen these sutras the purvatra siddham and then after that we have seen some this ratsa sanyogantasya lopaha ratsasya all this we have seen uh, looks like i opened a different document these are not marked here uh, yeah i think i opened a different document a different version of this uh, pdf different file rather so we don't have these marks otherwise these were marked okay let it be uh, so here hodha says jhali padante and padasya is also there so i'll say padasya padasya also has anuvrutti thereby sadanta vidhi can be added and padan padasya ante will this padante this will this can also take uh, vibhakti parana but ha 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 is what hakara पदस्य अंते यह हकार तस्य ढकार आदेश होती एंड झली च वेन झल फॉलोज देर बाय इट बिकम्स व्हाट पदस्य अंते इट इज जस्ट एन आदेश बट वेन हकार इज फॉलोड बाय झल लेटर दैट टाइम ढकार इज एन आदेश विच इज इन अ संधि संधि सिचुएशन सो व्हाट डज लघुकार से हस्य ढह सिया झली पदांते च दैट व्हाट वी वी ऑल्सो मेड अ वृत्ति इन दिस सिमिलर मैनर हस्य हस्य मीन्स हकार हियर ऑल्सो हस्य इज देर इज अस अ इज उच्चारणार्थे हियर हस्य अदरवाइज इट कैन नॉट बी हस्य राम शब्द वत राम से यू गेट ओनली वेन यू हैव एन अदंत शब्द अदंत पुल्लिंग शब्द हियर ह इज नॉट एन अदंत शब्द ह इज हकार हकार इज इंडिकेटेड हकार इज उच्चारणार्थे so what happens here leha aswadane plus quip this i have put in bracket because this is not the focus of uh, this class only for completion sake i have shown how this quibant shabda is derived so kartari krut kartari arthe krut pratyay bhavati which krut pratyay quip ch by quip ch sutra quip is added after dhatu so you will also have anurtya uh, quip ch pratyah parascha धातु अधिकार सो यू हैव धातु हो आफ्टर धातु कि प्रत्येज एडेड देन हलंत्यम विल टेक अवे दिस पकारा पकारा विल गो अवे बाय हलंत्यम इथ तस्य लोप एंड उपदेश जनुनासिक इथ दिस अच विच इज अनुनासिक इन क्विप विल गो अवे ककारा विल ऑल्सो गो अवे बाय दि वे ककारा विल गो अवे बाय वॉट लशक्वत तद्धिते सो लैव टू एड अनदर लशक्वत तद्धिते then tasya lopa so what remains tadhite so what remains here pakara godoye by halantyam ikara godoye by upadesha janunasike kakara godoye by uh, lashakot tadhite and then tasya lopa godoye means it becomes marked as it and then tasya lopa takes it away really then we have apruktasy only this v which remains actually this it is still before before this ikara goes away by upadesha januna asike we he is understood with of that v which is remain we he apruktasy ek aprukta ekal pratyah ekal pratyah is a single letter pratyah is called as aprukta and what is that single letter vakara so vakara we he vakara here v is taken this vakara of v which has become aprukta now that undergoes lopa so where aprukta lopa bhavati see this has nothing to do with hodha so far this is only a derivation of leh how did you get the pratipadikam leh once you get this we aprukta se zero pratyah basically quip is a zero pratyah content is zero it does whatever karya it has to do and then What is the car? It does. Being kept, it does not allow guna to take place. 
अदरवाइज एकारा वुड हैव बिकम एकारा सो यू डोंट गेट लेह यू गेट लेह ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ बींग किथ एंड देर आर अदर रीजन ऑल्सो दिस पकारा इज देर वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू ऑल दी इथ लेटर्स बट दीज हैव अ पर्पज दे हैव नॉट बीन एडेड बाय पांडिणी महर्षी फॉर नो रीजन दे हैव अ पर्पज बट द कंटेंट इज झिरो झिरो प्रत्यय so the form is what any time a quip pratyay is added to any anga the anga remains as it is no change what what is the change it is no longer a dhatu it has become a pratipadikana the dhatu has graduated to a pratipadika by adding quip and in what sense is the pratipadika the pratipadika is in the sense of the karta of the dhatu so lih one who licks so this is the meaning now in this meaning the pratipadika you get by krit sadita samasascha pratipadika sanyakam bhavati so it has become a pratipadika leh then you can add this swaujas amoksha stabhyam this all is supratya in uh, two after the pratipadika nya pratipadika swaujas amoksha ityadi pratyaha parascha bhavanti so leha plus sui added again upadesha janna se ke tasya lopa takes away ukara sakara alone remains so leha plus sakara what is this now this is a padam this was a pratipad this was a dhatu another thing i just wanted to mention here although it may not be useful here it may be useful anywhere else so it is good to you know do abhyasa of that uh, there is a saying in there is a saying as in it's a statement what is the statement that क्विबंतम क्विबंतम पदम धातु तुम न जहाती वेन एवर क्विप इज एडेड दट धातु हैज बिकम अ प्रातिपदिका बट इट ऑल्सो कैरीज अ धातु संज्ञा इट इज अ प्रातिपदिका ऑल राइट प्रातिपदिका इज नॉट अ धातु बाय दी वे नो वेर इज प्रातिपदिका इज धातु एक्सेप्ट वेन क्विप इज एडेड वेन क्विप इज एडेड दी धातु बिकम्स अ प्रातिपदिका Without giving up the dhatu sanya, it holds on to the dhatu sanya because Panini Maharshi wants some karya to happen based on that dhatu sanya. Otherwise, see, uh, uh, there may be uh, somewhere it is said that a particular ending of a dhatu will have a particular kriya. For example, what we see in uh, uh, in the complicated sutra that we saw. Uh, what is that uh, i think in the fourth chapter uh, not the the sutra is not in the fourth chapter but i just want to recall that uh, uh, in striya madhikara you have uh, nadi sanya you have ghi sanya and then uh, you have this you uh, you uh, akyo nadi so you striya akyo nadi so there you used that you is uh, one part and then you have seen that there is a when uh, yan sandhi is denied it is replaced by you know uvang and uh, the yang yang uvang adeshu so yang and uvang adesha whichever that sutra is i just want trying to recall that so i hope everyone remembers this uh, yang uvang uh, adesha which is which is an apavada to in uh, to yan sandhi eko yanachi that yang uvang adesha is for a particular dhatu ending ikaranta ukaranta dhatus for example and if it is a pratipadika still uh, in that sutra operates on that as well what was said is that the dhatu ending in ikara or ukara let's assume that it may not be technically correct there but i am giving an example there may be some sutra which operates on a particular ending of a dhatu now if dhatu has become a pratipadika how will that sutra operate because if it has become a pratipadika it is no longer a dhatu however kibanta kibantam dhatu tum na jahati so it will remain a dhatu although it has become a pratipadika so that's one thing i just wanted to point out it is uh, besides the point here so going back to the derivation leha plus sa sakara you got what happens to sakara so here upadeshi janu nasika it tasya lopa took away this ukara and sakara is remaining leha plus sakara and sakara will go away how will the sakara go away we have 
so i have not meant so oh, here it is so halnia abhyo just wanted to so let me take this uh, earlier here halnia abhyo dirgha sutisya pruktam hal lupyate hal lopa means lupyate the hal this sutisi su sutisi su sutisi this su pratyay is there here so this su pratyay which is an aprukta aprukta hal it is an aprukta hal it is a hal single letter sakara and it is aprukta aprukta ekal pratyay and it is after a hal hal ni and aap after a halanta nyanta and abanta this is a halanta after a halanta or a dirgha dirgha so after a halanta nyanta abanta or a dirghanta pratipadika anga not a pratipadika anga this su which is aprukta su forget t and s this su lupyate lopaha lupyate here lopaha lopa has to be understood as lupyate so hal lupyate so this hal is dropped now you have le what is le suptingantam padam we already added that here suptingantam padam so it is a padam it is a padam see what is the other pada sangya will that apply here it is sarvanamasthana being sarvanamasthana the second pada sangya will not apply only suptingantam padam has, can apply here because pratyay lope although this pratyay has gone pratyay lope pratyay lakshana this entire thing has become pada now just because you took away something here not uh, pratyay lope pratyay lakshana but uh, just because you are instead of a hat you are wearing a cap you don't change with the cap without the cap with the hat without the hat you are the same person similarly here sakara is like this cap like a turban if you remove that it does not change pada sangya is retained therefore le plus sakara has become le it has actually become le here let me add another line here so le how by this sutra halnia abhyo dirgha sutisya pruktam hal lopa means lupyate thereby le is a padam now le sakara goes away what happens to this hakara now this is a padanta hakara see jhal is not following now so we can say that padante cha this is padasya so ye padante cha hasya dhaha hakarasya dhakara adesha bhavati by hoda and then you get lid what happens to this lid now jhalam jashuvante next this sutra we already said jhalam ante ante yah jhal dhakara is a jhal letter dhakara is a jhal letter because jhavai ghada dash ghada dash that dhakara it comes only in the second sutra study from jhavan jhavan then ghada dash ghada dash dhakara is a jhal tasya jash adesha bhavati jashah jashah jhalam jashah jashah is plural because jhalam is plural but if you take one jhal for a jhal the adesha is jash what is the jash for dhakara jash is a third of the e class varga tritiya adesha and which is this varga tath dha dha na tath dha dha na so dha dhakara is varga chaturtha it will get varga tritiya adesha varga tritiya is dha dhakara mahaprana you take away mahaprana you will get varga tritiya everywhere there is jash adesha you just take away the mahaprana if it is the fourth of the class you land on the third of the class so you get the dakara so this is one form this is one form this is optionally lid so i'll just mark up so either lid or vavasane vavasane what is the adesha there char char is the adesha <coughs> abhyase charcha sutra is abhyase charcha first and that char has an anuvrutti to this sutra vavasane abhyas charcha then i think uh, uh, kharicha kharicha char and then vavasa char here there is no khar following it is not abhyas also abhyas so here it is only avasana is there there is a pause meaning padanta there is a pause here padanta and it is anta you lit is derived now so thereby taka dakara takes the char adesha what is char although char includes the khapa chatata 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 
and then kapai shashasar still from starting from cha shashasar will not be the adesha this char has to be understood only as the uh, as chai chai adesha some cases it may be possible but here at least it is char char meaning what like just like jash 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 is the varga tritiya char is varga prathama varga prathama for dakara is what ta varga it is two so ta varga ta tha da dha so from dha it landed to dakara and this is the this is the form one optional form that's why slash other optional form is va avasani va va tells you vibhasha va avasani so va va avasani sutra in the sutra when you read as sutra it will be va avasani when you do padacheda you will get va avasani avasani vibhashaya char bhavati so by option you will get takara for dakara and you will get lit or lit two forms so that is the derivation and thereby you got the first form lit lid then lagu kara says leho leho is simple leha plus au you will get leho leha ha just what will you get leh plus just will be leha then what happens second case just add them leham leho leha ha same as uh, the second and the first the third plural dvitiya dvachana and dvitiya bahuvachana will be same here just add them liham liha plus am in dvitiya ekvachana you will get that so so just am out shas is done he then uh, nothing else changes and in sambodhana also what we have done earlier it will be similar lit what happens in this when bhyam bhyam follows so bhyam is what now you get yachibham yachibham but then otherwise padam so these are all padam this is all what this is sarvanama sthana till it is pullinga si sudanapunsakasya sudanapunsakasya yesterday i had mentioned on the group please revise the pada and bha sanya so i hope everyone remember that they have not studied also so here in the su au jas am out the first five are what sarvanama sthana then in pullinga because sut anapunsakasya in anapunsaka this first five are pratyas are called as sarvanama sthana sut anapunsakasya then after that whenever there is a vowel pratya with a vowel in the beginning ajadi ajadi su pratya there it will be bha sanya but bhyam is not ajadi bhyam is haladi and su is also not ajadi su means the last supratya the su is supratya so in bhyam bhyam not bhyam bhyam bhis bhas all of these you will get you will get a sandhi there you will get a padant sandhi because this pada sanya is not necessarily the suptingantam padam it is also swadishu asarvanam sthane padam swadishu asarvanam sthane padam this is the padam sanya even bhyam pratya follows or su pratya follows there by the other places also leh plus bhyam also you will get lid bhyam hodha and then after that dakara now can it take this takara optionally va avasane can this apply lit when in lit bhyam anyone in lit bhyam can we have an optional form with takara instead of dakara why not no is the right answer but why not no avasana following so actually see no avasana following sounds very funny avasana is a space so there is no space following sounds very no pause following instead what should we say there is there is this jhal letter following there is jhal letter following bhakara is following so there is no avasana meaning only when avasana is there in an avasana situation only you will get an uh, option otherwise lidbhyam is the form so either jhal is following similarly in su what will happen see multiple things happen in su so leh plus su leh plus su what will happen lid su because su is here we have to add that so let's say here we'll add the sutra what is this sutra first 
ಸರ್ವನಾಮಸ್ಥಾನಂಸ್ಥಾನಂಸ್ಥಾನಂ then then what swadishu swadishu vasarva nama sthane swadishu vasarva nama sthane padam so you got sarva nama sthanam two minute it has become very slow our uh, document has grown in size i have added the rest of the laghu here so it has become bigger in size let me see if i can move this out of google docs onto onto my screen so padam so you got pada sanya now this is a pada sanya here yachi bham but we don't need that because bha sanya is not applicable here it is only in ajadi and in tadhita yakaradi also so swadishwa sarnam sthane padam this is the pada sanya here for what for dhakara for hakara to become dhakara so this hakara is padan padanta not by suptingantam padanta it is padanta by swadishwasaranamasthane padam thereby hakara se dha by hoda so hoda applies here so you got dhakara now it became dhakara by what jhalam jhalam here sorry uh, padanta and we also have jhalam jashuvante and this is also applicable here so jashadesha jhalam jash jashi i think no no too many type of sorry so jhalam jashuvante so jhalam jashuvante because padanta sandhi again same reason padanta sandhi this is padanta anta so jhalam jashuvante jasha desha thereby dhakara became dhakara now there is another sutra we had seen long back maybe not long back somewhere around here itself uh, i don't remember when we saw this but we have seen this sutra in lagu itself dasi dhut so dhut is an agama va vibhashaya there is an agama when sakara follows what follows dhakara so dasi 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 dhut dhut is the dhut dhut is the agama basically the content is dhakara dhakara is the agama when dhakara is followed by sakara we have that situation here dhakara is followed by sakara therefore dhakara has to go and sit somewhere where will it sit being takara adyanto takito adyanto 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 takito so it goes and sits this adesha is for dha dakara not dha dha so dasi dhut dakara is dakara is sani sani so adi ant adyanto which is the sani just give so this is dasi dhut maybe panchami there so panchami baliya by that you, it will go to sakara so c is there and d is not shashti d is panchami so dakara uttarasya uh, ne dakar dakar dakarat pareyah sakara sasya dhud agama bhavati so sakara is the sthani and when sakara is the sthani because of what panchami is also there saptami is also there so tasminiti nirdishte purvasya so it should go to purva here based on c but tasmad uttar tasmay ityuttarasya so dakara in this daha in panchami says the sthani is sakara 
and C in Saptami says the Stani is Dakara. So Ubhaya Nirdeshe Sati Panchami Baliyan. So Panchami will become Bali, Baliyan. Once Panchami becomes Baliyas, then what will happen? This will tell you that this Panchami Daha will tell you that Tasmadit Yuttarasya, thereby Sakara will become the Stani. So Sakara will take this dhut, dhut agama and being tith it will go to adi of sakara therefore you will get lid dhakara and then sakara here so lidsu you will get lidsu difficult to pronounce even this is difficult also optionally i have added here optionally va vibhashaya therefore optionally dhakara agama will sit here if it if this applies, then Kharicha, Kharicha is applicable now. Kharicha what? When Khar letter follows, what is Khar here? This Khar is, Sakara is Khar here. Sakara is Khapa Chhatata Chhatatao. Kapai Shasasar. So, Sa is part of Shasasar, ending with this Kharir Refa. So, therefore, Kharicha Dhakarasya. Dhakara see here, Dhakara will take Chara, Kharicha Char, Chara Adesha. Therefore, Dhakara will become Takara. Dhakara being Varga Chaturta, it will take Varga Triti Adesha here. Uh, sorry, uh, Varga Prathama Adesha here. Char, Char is the Adesha, Kharicha Char. Char is the Adesha here. Therefore, uh, Ta, Tatha Da, Tatha Da Dha. So, Varga Chaturta will become Varga Prathama, you will get Takara. So, Lidsu. Lidsu. What will happen to Dakara now? Again, Kharicha Takara is Takara Khar letter. So, Sakara being Khar letter made Dakara as Takara. Then you inquire again whether Takara is a Khar letter. Khapa Chhatata Chhatata Chhatatao. So, Chhatatao then Shasasar. So, Ta is also part of Khar. Thereby being Takara being Khar letter, Kharicha will apply again and Dakara will become Char again Char. So what happens to Dakara now? Dakara is what? Ta, Tha, Da, Dha. So Dakara although being a just letter, it will take Char Adesha, Varga Prathama Adesha, it will become Takara. So one form is Litsu. Litsu is one form optionally here. Or this, so from here the option started, where we pick the Dhudagama. If we don't pick the Dhudagama, what will happen? Dakara will directly be followed by Sakara. So if you don't pick this, then from here directly what will apply? Kharicha will apply to this, to this form. Kharicha, this Kharicha is applying to what? This, this fellow here. So Sakara is Khar letter. So Dakara directly becomes Takara without taking a Dhudagama, thereby you will get Litsu here. So two forms are Litsu, Litsu. That is what here Lagukara says Litsu or Litsu. So this completes Hodaha. Now uh, there is a there is a there is a uh, different sutra which is what? Which is a apava, which is an apavada. Let's look at Ashtadhyayi once. Let's look at the section. It's always good to look at the section in Ashtadhyayi. Otherwise, you get lost in uh, Lagu sequence. You don't know what is happening. See here, Kharicha. Just look at this section now. Kharicha. Uh, yeah, here. See, this is what I say. Abhyase Charcha, Kharicha. Vavasani. This is the sequence here. Jalam Jash Jashi. This Char Adesha here goes till 56. So Kharicha Char, Vavasani Char. And Jash also goes here. Till 54 Jash is there. Abhyase Char Char. So in, uh, we have not studied this sutra. So I'll skip this Abhyase Char Char. But Jash and Char both Adeshas are there. Based on what is the content of Jali. So we'll uh, look at this sutra when we reach there. But Kharicha Char, Vavasani Char. Both, both cases. For what? Jalam char. So Jalam char bhavati. Jal, jalam goes till 56. So here another anuvritti you should mark. If you already don't know that, you should mark Jalam char, which is the thani we should know. 
and jhal is very broad jhal is what x all consonants starting with what starting with j meaning starting from fourth of the class down to uh, down to last sutra hal maheshwara sutra so jhal is quite broad except for the varga this uh, varga panchama is dropped out in the class starting from the class consonants so however rat lant nyamagananam nyamagananam is dropped after that javai ghadadash javagadadash khapachatata chatatav kapai shasasar hal all of these are covered in jhal so jhalamcha now just look at this sutra 8 to what is our sutra 8 8 to 31 So look at 8 to 31. This section. See, we have seen this choku, sko sanyoga, adyantre cha, uh, adyorante cha. It started from sanyoga antas se lopa. This is the first sutra I think we studied in uh, when we studied uh, hal sandhi. Then rat sasya, dhicha, jhalo jhali, all of this, and then you land on this choku. We may have studied all this. Now hoda another section starts here hoda hakarasya sthane dhakara adesha bhoti jhali padante jhali padante cha so ante cha and jhali comes from here jhali padante cha apua that is see dader dhator ghaha not dha see hoda haha goes till 35 so Here, what padanta hakara se stane dhakara adesha bhoti, but that padanta hakara does not take dhakara adesha if it it is dade dhatu. Dade is what dhakara adi dhatu. If the dhatu is dhakara adi, then it will not take dha, but it will take gha adesha. This is the sutra. Dade dhator gha. The next sutra also we look at here itself. Vad druha muhash nosh niha. You will get ga. Ga is going to thirty-three. Ha is going to thirty-five. So hakarasya sthane, padantasya hakarasya sthane, ghakara adesha vabhotu, vibhashaya. For what? For druhadhatu, muhadhatu, shnuhadhatu, and shnehadhatu. Because all are hakara ending. Here druha is hakara ending, muha is hakara ending. So shnuha is hakara ending, sneha is hakara ending. It is only druha is da dadi dhatu. Dadi means uh, dade is what dadi. Dadi is dakara adi asya dhatu ho sah dhatu ho dadi dhatu ho. Tasya dade he dhatu ho. That is the meaning of this sutra here. Dade he dhatu ghā adesha bhoti. So hakarasya sthane dade he dhatu hakarasya sthane dha adesha. Which was said as dha adesha earlier. There is an apavada here as not dha adesha anymore. Gha adesha. Now being druha, druha being what dakara adi dhatu, it should take gha adesha. But here this makes it an option. Wa. So druha dhatu can take ghakara adesha. Hakara can take ghakara adesha optionally, or it can take what? If it does not take that, then it will take dha adesha. So dhakara or ghakara, both forms are possible in case of druha. Similarly, in the case of muhash nuhash niha. See muhash nuhash niha had dhakara adesha. Druha had ghakara adesha due to these two sutras. Hoda was applicable to these three dhatus here. And being dadi, druha had ghakara adesha. So ghakara, which was mandatory for druha. Has been made optional by this sutra, and dhakara, which was mandatory for muhash, nuha, and sneha dhatus, has been made optional. Therefore, you will get two adesha. So, optionally, you will get gha or dha. So, you will get two forms in the case of druha, muhash, nuha, and sneha dhatus. Then, naho dha asta. We will see if lagu kara covers it. This is also uh, other apavada. And then there are others in this section. Brascha, uh, brascha, brascha, sruja, sruja, yaja, raja, bhaja, chasham, shaha, shaha is the adesha. So various dhatus based on various dhatus, there can be a padanta adesha. This is what we have to remember. This is the section where we have to look for dhatu ending adeshas. 
Anyway, Laghukara covers these three sutras, so we will look at those in sequence. Thankfully, they are in sequence, in the same sequence that they occur in the Ashtadhyay. So, we saw Hodaha, now he introduces the sutra, Dader Dhator Ghaha. Dader Dhator Ghaha. This is an optional, uh, sorry, this is an apavada to the earlier sutra. Dadehe. Dadi is the Pratipadika. Dadehe is the Shashti Ekvachana. Dhato ho is Shashti Ekvachana. Dhatu Pratipadika. Gha is Prathama Ekvachana Adesha. What is the Anuvritti here? All this same Anuvritti as what we had in this sutra. We can just copy paste this. Entire thing we can copy paste. So we will copy paste this and we will also add haha. Haha is also there. Haha comes down from earlier sutra. Shashti Ekvachana. Hakarasya Sthane. Jali and Padante. Because Jali where does it go? 38. Till 38. So Jali has an Anurti till 38. It covers our sutra. Hakara and then Gha also comes down here. The Gha will go down from our sutra to the next sutra. And Dhato Ho. Dhato will also so see, till here it, no dhatu is mentioned. Hoda for what? All pratipadikas. Re regardless of what kind of pratipadikas. Krudanta pratipadika, tadhitanta pratipadika, samasanta pratipadika, uh, just, you know, uh, arthavadatra pratyaf pratipadika, kind of pratipadika, any pratipadika. But any pratipadika means what? I am saying padanta, which is at the end of the Pada, it should be a Pada, not a Pratipadika really. For in our case, why Pratipadika? Because that Pratipadika retained its form. It is not a Pratipadika. It is actually a Pada by Suptingantam Padam in the case of, in the case of uh, the first example we saw, Leh. Leh was a Dhatu, which became a Pratipadika by adding Quip. And it also became a Pada by adding Su. Did it change the form? No, it remained Leh. Then Leh become Lid. After lid, it became lid and then optionally it became lit. So that, that was the application of this sutra. Now dhatu, dhatu word has been introduced. Only this dadi dhatu. When will it become padanta? When it takes quip. When it doesn't take quip also it may be possible. But will it have hakara in the end? That is the question. It can be a part of a samasa, not a pure dhatu. Maybe an Upapada Tatpurusha Samasa with the Dhatu ending in Hakara starting with Dakara. So Dhatu has been introduced here specifically in the Padanta Sandhi. Where is Padanta Sandhi and where is Dhatu? Dhatu starts in the third, adhi, third Adhyaya. In Ashtamo Adhyaya you don't have Dhatu anymore. So he brings back that Dhatu. Dhatu only for two sutras. But he brings that, no, not for two sutras, only for uh, say uh, six sutras. He brings it for six sutras, uh, seven sutras, 32 also is included, sorry. So, 32 has dhatu and it goes further till six more sutras. So, with that background, see when you look at Ashtadi, you will know the background, what is working there, what is in uh, the sutrakara's mind there. So, Dader Dhatur Gha Sutra makes this Dhakara uh, makes this Ghakara as an apavada to Ghakara. It overrides that. So, Dade Dhato Ho Jhali Padante Cha Hakarasya Dhato Hakarasya by the way. Dade Dhato Hakarasya Gha Adesha Bhavati Jhali Kada Bhavati Jhali Padante Cha So, uh, Samasa Daha or Dakaraha Adihi Asya Dhato ho saha dhatu, dadi dhatu, tasya dadehe. This is a uh, bahuri vigraha for the dadehe shabda there. What is the uh, lagukara vritti? Lagukara se jali padan te cha upadeshe dader dhato hasya ghaha. Hasya is hakara se gha. Akara is ucharanarthe. Instead of gha gha adesha. What is the dadehe dha, dhatu here? Duha. Duha dhatu is it. Duha, duha prapurane. To milk, basically this uh, uh, meaning is milk, to milk, duh, duh dhatu. Akara is, Upadeshi Januna Sikhet will take away this akara in the dhatu and then it will become duh, it will become duh. Now duh plus quip, 
though plus quip if you add it then what did you get here save all all the sutras vera pruktasya pakara will become it by halantya mit kakara by lashakva taddite this ikara by upadeshi jannasika it it will become it and then tasya lopa will take away all three vakara is left vera pruktasya lopa bhavati so it is a zero pratya but kartari quip thereby kartari arthe quip has been added and duh has been converted into a pratipadika now by krittadita samasascha pratipadikam so you got duh as a pratipadikam now it can take suaujas pratya so you added su pratya which has become sakara hanya abhyo dirga sutisya pruktam lupyate thereby duh now duh is what what is the sanya of duh now is it a pratipadikam or is it a padam or is it a dhatu what is it now what is the sanya of this here it was pratipadikam after you added sakara what what is the uh, sanya it took you already written that suptingantam padam right so pad sanya what other sanya does it have does it have dhatu sanya is it a dhatu any more it is not a dhatu any more if you look at it is it a dhatu it is a dhatu because we will also add here may or may not be needed but for our clarity we'll add here what is this it is also a dhatu how so we need it here dader dhato gha we'll say that it is kvibantam kvibantam dhatu tvam na jahati it does not give up its dhatu sanya vibanta pada will retain its dhatu sanya also thereby duha is a dhatu now being a dhatu it's a dadi dhatu dakaradi dhatu therefore dader dhato ho gha kasya gha gha bhavati hakarasya sthane gha adesha bhavati you'll get dug so now dug is the form further now he needs another sutra see upadesh i have added here this is technical you can read up if you want uh, but i have added a Uh, there is uh, why upadeshi has been added there see uh, uh, laghukara adds upadeshi additionally there is no upadesha mentioned in the sutra there is no upadesha adhikara also why upadeshi jhali padante cha upadeshe dadehe dakaradi but dakaradi dhatu in the upadesha only if it changes form then also it may apply but as long as in the upadesha upadesha means what in dhatu patha is it dakaradi dhatu in the dhatu patha that is the question he is asking that's all thereby uh, in some cases where it happens as in this sutra applies or in some cases it should not apply that bheda can be made by questioning whether originally in the dhatu patha was it read as dakaradi or not so i have added a note there i'll just uh, read it out don't uh, if you don't understand it leave that Uh, this is not important to this sutra but this is additional information as to why upadesha has been added by laghukara so upadesha it i just written here upadesha dadi rupasya dhatu anyatra anya rupe api bhavati anyatra anya rupe api even dadi if it elsewhere it takes some other form as long as it is dakaradi in the upadesha means upadesha in the sense here dhatu pathe upadesha is equal to what धातु पाठे इन धातु पाठा दैट इज द उपदेश ऑफ धातु सो दादी रूप से धातु हो धातु पाठे दादी रूप से धातु हो दैट धातु व्हिच इज दकार आदि इन धातु पाठा अन्यत्र एल्सवेयर अन्य रूपे इवन इफ इट टेक्स अ डिफरेंट फॉर्म इट डज नॉट रिमेन दादी फॉर एग्जांपल अधोक लंगी इन लंगलकारा वी हैव नॉट सीन तिंगंता हियर तिंगंता पदम्स बट आई एम those who know the forms it is for them yatha ajadehe api upadeshe dadehe this ajadi ajade api what is the see lang lang lungshu uh, lang ling lungshu uh, there will be adagama adagama there is adagama added and this adagama comes here before the dhatu and da, can you see dadi you don't see dakara at all but this dhakara it has become dhakara and it is no longer 
dadi you have an alagama there but was this dhatu in upadesha was it dadi yes then he says you add this add this adesha which adesha whatever whatever adesha is being mentioned here upadeshe ghah thereby this dhatu which is the dhatu here this is dadi dhatu it has become gh and then gh became gakara and then by kharicha kakara so you got adhok adhok is a form in lang lakara for duh dhatu by the way lat lakara you will get dhogdi uh, you will get dogdi dogdi in prathama prathama purusha ek vachana similarly in lung lakara lungi you will get adhok you will get adhok or adhok form so all this this see hakara why did it become ghakara to become gakara or kakara it is not dadi if you question no it is dadi because although adagama adagama came in it was dadi in upadesha therefore he had upadesha so this is one is sufficient the other form is where it should not apply for example the same dhatu leh dhatu that we saw earlier leh leh dhatu when it goes into a samasa damalit let's say dam ledhi it uh, damalit why did it not take uh, adesha other adesha so here the upadesha dadi rupasya dhato eva न उपदेश भेद यथाम दादी द दाम लेढ़ी इत्यत्र दाधे उपदेशे अदादे हे लिहे हे दिस अदादी सी दिस दिस लिहधा तू अच्छी लाइफ जस्ट कॉपी पेस्टेड आई थिंक इट इस अदाद सो इट्स इट इस नॉट दादी लिह इस नॉट दादी व्हाई लिह इस नॉट दादी सी धातु हियर यू सी इट इस दाम लेढ़ी but lehadhatu lehadhatu is the form here so there this ghakara adesha should not apply natu upadesha bhede this dhatu here you feel dam ledhi is not dadi dhatu here this dam is see what is the uh, uh, dam let samasa dam let samasa which is the dhatu here this dadi is not the dhatu lakara adi is dhatu because in samasa here upapada tatpurusha samasa the dhatu leh he is taking and upapada tatpurusha samasa pratyaya it is taking a pratyaya krut pratyaya and dam here this dadi this is not a dhatu dam is an upapada it is an upapada pada upapada it is padam upasamipe uccharitam padam upapadam it is an upapada so this dadi dhatu should not be considered because it is a pada but leh dhatu should be considered now leh dhatu is not not dadi dhatu it is a lakara the ladi dhatu therefore in this case that sutra should not have application which sutra it should not make ghakara because damal it is not a dadi form it is a form of ladi dhatu in this case it should not apply why because was this damalet form read in the upadesha no what was read in the upadesha in upadesha leh dhatu was read therefore upadeshe dadi rupa it wasn't therefore here you do not apply dader dhatur ghah and in this case only dhakara will be the adesha by hoda and you will get damalid by jash adesha and khari chachar you will get damalid i hope this is clear if it is not clear let it go uh, this is the explanation for upadeshe because the word has been mentioned here upadeshe where did he get it from he did not get it from from the sutra patha then where did he get it from it is not upadesha word is not there in the sutra pada so if we work on the anurutti you won't get so it is taught in the sampradaya that dadi should be the dhatu taught in the sense it is understood but if it is not clear in such cases we have to do the viveka as to why dader dhatur gha does not apply in the case of uh, damalit and why it applies in the form of uh, in the case of adhok so that's the explanation for uh, upadeshe so what happens here dug we have landed till dug now here he introduces another su sutra i'll take a few more minutes and uh, finish this form just one form here uh, 
because we have started the derivation, I will finish till here and then we will stop. So, next sutra he introduces as Ekacho Basho Bhash Jashantasyas Dvoho. Ekacho Basho Bhash Jashantasyas Dvoho. What is the sutra 8 to 37? 8 to 37 sutra here says, what is the anuvratti here? Immediate anuvratti that is antecha, antecha and jhali. So, jhali padante what happens? Ek achaha, ek achaha means ekaha achyasmin. Ekaha achyasmin, that is ekach and tasse ekachaha, ekachahi shashti ekvachana. Bashaha bhasha adesha bhoti. Bash. Jab, in Jabagada does not jash, bash. So ja and ja ga, ja ba. So ja is, jakara is dropped. So what do you get? In the third of the class, except jakara, that is bash. So that bash takes bhasha adesha. And what is bash? So from third of the class, it is graduating to the fourth of the class. Four letters. B, G, D, D. B, G, D, D will become B, G, D and D. They will take Mahaprana basically. They will take Mahaprana when Ekachaha. So Ekaha Chasmin. Jashantasya. One more condition. It should be Jashanta. And when followed by Sakara or Dhva. Dhva is what? Does anyone remember what is Dhva? Tinganta. This is Tinganta Dhva. Does anyone remember Dham Pratya? Dham Pratya. Where do you get Dham Pratya? Tiptasji Siptastha Mipvasma. Then Tatam Jha Thasatam Dham. Madhya Purusha. Bhavachana, then idvahi mahing. So that dham pratya. So we will not look at it now. Lagukara will just ignore this dha. He will assume that it is covered. But sakara is there. Svoho. When sakara or dham pratya follows. Sakara. Any sakara. But dha is specific. Dha, only that dha. Dha you will get only in dham, dham scenario. In madhya purusha bhavachana. In Atmane Padam Pratya. So, Ekaha Chiasmin Tasya Ekachaha Bashaha Bhasha Desha Bhoti Jashantasya Bhasha. So, then followed by Stva Sakara or Dham Pratya. And what is Jashanta? Jashante Asya Tasya Jashantasya. What is the Lagurutti? Dhatva Avaya Vasya Dhatva Avaya Vasya Ekachaha Jashantasya Natu Ekach Dhato Mind you Ekachaha Dhato Ho Bashaha Na Not of an Ekach Dhato This is Bash See Ekach Dhato Antasya Na Jashantasya will not go with Ekachaha Meaning The Ekach need not be Jashanta This Dhato Avaya Vasya Ekach Meaning not, not ekacha, I mean the, uh, it need not be ekach. The anga need not be ekach. See, dhatu avayavasya ekacha. Otherwise, if you say dhatu needs to be ekach, it will not work. In uh, other cases also, you want it to work. Therefore, he says that dhatu avayava ekach, if it is there, and that ekach jashantasya, natu ekach dhatu ho. Ekach dhatu sh should not be taken here. Because what else is the Anurti here? Jali Padante. Jali Padante is there whether we use it or not because we have Sdo in. Sdo is there here in, uh, in Saptami uh, Vivachana. So what happens? Dhatu ek, Dhatu Avayava, a part of a Dhatu that is Ekach because we wanted it to apply in derived Dhatus also. Sanadhyantaha Dhatavaha. If you derive a dhatu, in that case also, that ekach will become anekach. We want it to apply there also. Therefore, natu ekach dhatu ho. I, I have, this is not part of lagu vritti. I have added it to contrast it with why dhatu avayavasya ekach ha. That ekach is part of a dhatu avayava, part of a dhatu. 
because it can be an anekaj dhatu in the case of derived dhatus or in dhatu partner itself it may be anekaj. There are not many, but then there can be a scenario. So he is Lagukara says dhatu avayavasya ekachaha jashantasya bashaha bhash se dhve padante cha. So se, se is what? Sipare, sipare, so this is sipare, sipare or sakara pare, then dhve pare, dham pare, padante cha, even at padanta. Right now maybe we may using something, others may not be covered, dham ityadi may not be covered. So, the dhatu which we have used is duh dhatu. Duh has become dug by dader dhatur dha. What happens to this dug now? Is it the dhatu? Yes, it is a dhatu. Is there an, is this ekach now? Avayava at least is ekach. What is ekach? Only one ach is there. Ukara is the only ach there, only one vowel. Having a single vowel. Ekha ach yasmin, saha ekach. That which has only one vowel. So this has one vowel, dug has one vowel, so it is an ekach. Ekachaha jashantasya. Is it jashanta ghakara? Is it ghakara jash? Yes, it is jash. Because jhavai ghada dash. So ghakara is part of jash. Then, so ekach condition is met, jashanta is met. Does it have a bash to be replaced? Yes, it has a bash. Which is the bash here? Which is the bash letter in dugdhatu? Anyone before we close? Which is the bash letter in dug? Dug in the form dug. Which is the bash letter? What should take the adesha? B. B. Do we have B in dug? Where is B in dug, Amma? There is no ga, there is no ba. What is a bash letter? What is the content of bash? I just chanted that. How ga? What, Sumuki, what is the content of bash? Please write down four letters that bash has. What are the four letters? Three answers or three, all three incorrect, I am sorry. Bhagada dha. Is there, is there dha there? Jabagada dha. How can you have Mahaprana there? Jabagada dha. Jabagada dha. Jakara goes. Bhagada dha. Not dha. There is no dha. Yeah, Bhagada dha, right? Bhagada dha. Now in duhu, what do you have? Do you have ba in duhu? No. Do you have ga? No. You have added dha dha. Ja, ba, ga, da, da. So, da, da is murdhanya. So, anyway, so ba, ga, da, da. You don't have ba, you go da, don't have ga, you don't have da. You have da, it is very simple. There is nothing tricky there. Bash, which is the bash in dug? Dakara is the bash. Simple, ga is not dug, uh, is not bash. Ga is jash, it is jashanta. We already said that jashanta. Jash and Bash do not have an overlap. After Jash comes in the Pratyahara, in the, in the Pratyahara comes in the Maheshwara Sutra, then you have Bash. Jabhanj Ghada Dash, that's where Jash ends. Bhagada Dha, Bhagada Dash, this is Bash. There is no overlap at all. This is fourth of the class. Jash is the fourth of the class. Bash is the fourth of the class. Bash is the third of the class. So, third of the class is replaced by the fourth of So, Varga Tritiya becomes Varga Chaturtha. This is Varga Tritiya. It becomes Varga Chaturtha. Thereby, you will get what? You will get Dhug. Dhakara will be the Arisha. Dhakara will take Mahaprana and Dhug will become Dhug. When, so, this is what? This is Dhudhatu. Dhudhatu has suddenly changed its form to Dhug. So, Dhug, Dhug, then Dhug. Ekacho basho bhash jashanta syas doho. Why? Because Sakara is not following. You may ask, where is Sakara following? No. Is Dham following? No. But is it Padanta? Jali Padante cha jashanta syas. 
Sthani, Jashanta Sthani. Is it a Jashanta Sthani? Yes, Jash is at the end. It is a Ghanta. Ghanta meaning Jashanta. See, difficult rule. That's why I am spending some time, although we have overshoot one hour. I just wanted to finish this. We will revisit it if it is needed. But then what happens? Dug becomes Dug. Then Ghakara, everything else is same. Jalam Jashwante, Ghakara will become Ghakara. Vavasa nature, you will get Kakara. So, you will get two forms. Dug. You will get Dug. Or you will get Dug. So, this is the Padanta. Padanta. See, C and Dho. See, C and Dho we will see later. It is not uh, Sakara falling. It is C. Dho Ho. We will see uh, what Dho is in next part. It is not part of Lagu by the way. I have picked up examples from elsewhere. He will say Dhuk Dhug, then Duho Duha, Dhugvyam, Dhugvyam, Dhukshu, he will move on. Because we are doing uh, Subanta. He has absolutely no business with, with uh, Tinganta here. And in Tinganta, when he visits Duho Dhatu, if at all he does, he will assume that this sutra has been covered and he will derive the form Dhukshi uh, Ityadi. We will see more in the next part. I will stop here. Uh, please go through these sutras once again and see if you understand that what is Bash here, what is Ekash here, what is Jashanta here, so many conditions, so many conditions. Uh, if possible, I will try to look up, uh, yeah, I have already mentioned them, I will uh, add it uh, from Kashika for a better understanding as to why Bash has been added, why Jashanta. So, we will uh, we'll question, Jashanta Sethi Kim, Ekash Aiti Kim, Kashika Kara does that. And he gives counter examples. We will see that in the next part. Dutta vasane nataraja rajo nana dhatakkan no panchavaram udhar to kama sanaka di siddhan eta vimarshe shiva sutra jalam. Any questions? Yeah, that's not for now is better. Please go through it. Uh, I don't think it is so difficult. Uh, I spent more time on these sutras. We did only three sutras for this reason because uh, there are too many complications, too many uh, conditions in this sutra. So, we will revisit that. We'll, uh, in the next part, I will derive this, uh, this book form before we move ahead. Okay, Namaste.